Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a mini primer on the grand solar minimum and solar maximums in general. You're looking at the last 4,000 years of Earth's history as deciphered by the Central Greenland Ice Course. These are a continuous climatic repository of information for the last 100,000 years or so in very high detail. The GISP 2 data is shown right here. It's been adjusted by me uh, because recent papers have shown that the mainstream science community obfuscated the truth about the modern warming. And we needed to add another half a degree and push the actual temperature down to the real data point. And when we did that, a miraculous thing happened. It showed that the Earth has been gradually cooling since the Holocene warm, which every climate scientist believes. The only climate scientists that believe in global warming only study climate from 1800 on. They're not paleoclimatologists like myself. For a decade, I studied ancient climate on Earth, meaning the climate prior to now. And the Greenland ice cores and the Antarctic ice cores give us a very clear idea of the ice age that we're in and the type of major climatic fluctuations that happen at regular periodic times. Now, the Antarctic data shows us a 100,000-year cycle. But what we're looking at is the Greenland ice core, which gives us a more recent picture of the climate cycles. Now, what I've done is I put all grand maximums with orange stars. The modern maximum, where we're living. This is the medieval warm period. This is when the Vikings settled Newfoundland. There were goats in Greenland, and they were farming. This is the Roman Warm, right before the fall of Rome, right before Christ. And this is the Minoan Warm, even warmer. Probably a time back when things were much different and better. What you see is a cooling trend. Now, in purple are the grand minimums. They either last for 200 years or 400 years or more, but they average 200 years per grand minimum. Here's actually a solar max that didn't really get that high, so it all is a very cold period. Same thing happened during the Little Ice Age. A solar max didn't really develop and warm the planet, so for 400 straight years it was cold. For two of the cycles. But what I want you to notice from this graph, it is never warmer than 200 years in any of the maximums ever. They're typically little spikes that last a century. Boom. Boom. Here we have a double peak. Boom, boom. They all have double peaks. Boom, boom. Here's a double peak. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So we're done the peaks. Now, the next phase in the grand minimums, if you look at them, is a direct drop-off into cold, which destroys the empires. The Mycenaean civilization was destroyed in decades. The great migration of Goths and Huns happened on this drop-down, collapsing the Roman Empire. This is the European Dark Age. Here's the mini ice age. Glaciers grew and destroyed villages and the Maunder Minimum. And now we're back in our little warm period that is now over. The past is the key to the future. I'll, I'll leave you with that. This is just a quick video. For those that don't understand what comes next, just look at the picture. It goes straight down now. Why do we believe that? It's not winter 
And the entire planet north of 30 is now north of 30 degrees, which includes sub-Saharan Africa, has snow on it. There's snow as far south as 20 degrees north latitude, two weeks before winter. This is unprecedented. Unprecedented. Guys, I hope that helped you. Every two to 400 years, there's a maximum followed by a minimum every 200 years. Maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, 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 stuck. Maximum. We're going into grand solar minimum, just like each of the other times before in the last 3,000 years. And the empire is going to fall like every other time in history which we're not taught in school, but we're about to learn by direct experience. Be safe.